Hi guys, welcome back to yet another or not like very interesting episode on the Big Brother Nigeria review. I tell you, this is going to be a very interesting one. <laughs> All right, so my name is Okay Wumi, and yeah, I am here to give you the Big Brother Niger reviews and updates live on my YouTube channel. And if you are just um, watching my videos for the first time, I'd like you to just do me a favor of subscribing, liking my video, and let me see your comments in the comment section below. Hmm, let's get straight to today's video so yesterday was a long day like a really long day they had their usual bet arena games and you know praise um emerged the winner as he did his tax like in i think two minutes 45 seconds or so he finished fast he was the earliest and fastest housemate and you know he did well and after the bet we arena game, they lost the tax it's not like they met up to biggest expectation but at least we had the winner which was praise now after the whole bet arena games the housemates went to the garden you know and they've been saying they want to do truth and then you know they said yesterday that they're going to do truth and truth or there this friday night and anybody that is not going to do will not like will not be around and all and they've been begging biggie for the key to the fridge since that's yesterday that biggie knew that they had intentions to play truth or there biggie now gave them the key to the fridge and that fridge contained different type of champagne or beer whichever was stout anyone so that yesterday night they were just drinking drinking to their satisfaction look at kaisha kaisha was like she was all out drunk so you know the house were just drinking they were having conversations in the garden meanwhile the other truth or dare people they were getting prepared so i'm just going to take you through the truth or dare part of yesterday night so i'm just going to be um discussing the highlights of the truth or there that happened yesterday so um kaisha dead you know kaisha was drunk everything that she was doing yesterday i just feel that basically most of the things the housemates did yesterday were well, because they were under the influence of alcohol but why some was genuinely but majority of them because they were under the influence of alcohol so kaisha dared also to press and suck dorothy's boobs hey jesus my head wanted to turn out like ah, ah, kaisha you <laughs> and you know before then before then um dorothy was dared to kiss also and dorothy was like how like kiss my brother you know you know others to say dorothy just like kiss. that him. it's like ah that's incense now why we like kiss my brother no i can't and she took shots then um now kaisha did also i was expecting also to say me too i can't embrace my sister's baba grab opportunity <laughs> he didn't even waste time and he did it and um also Katrina was there to kiss us, and I felt that this one has been waiting for a moment. Because when they asked her to kiss us, she was like, even if Ozo does not kiss her, when Ozo is sleeping, she will still come and kiss him. So <laughs> whether he likes it or not, she will kiss him. And so she kissed him. Also, um, um, Katrina, Katrina did a lot of crazy stuff yesterday. Katrina was also there to, you know, do some. So guys, that's one of the numerous things that Katrina did yesterday. She had the sex position something something with also and um she also kissed also and um so a lot of them did a lot of crazy stuff during that shoot or day but i'm going to leave that aside and i don't want us to go to nengi you know when i always talk about nengi i always pay special attention because i'm now nengi is one housemate that i told you in my last video that likes attention from all the guys she wants to put the guys in the position where all of them are begging at her feet because fine girls know they are fine do you understand she knows that she's fine she knows that she's a hot cake i bet she's hot cake then so yesterday i am pr prince i always keep calling prince praise and praise prince so i prince yesterday in the garden we we're having a conversation and you know prince was saying you know i like you we're like i don't know like but everybody in the house knows like i say it every time everybody tells me everybody knows i like you They're like ah, you know i'm you don't know how many guys like me and plenty people like me. many men want me in nengi's voice <laughs> and many men want me and all and so she will not stand up when she's having a conversation with him, she will not stand up go in front of the mirror turn around check her butt then come back and say i have to remind myself of who i am and i'm like do you have to go to do you have to do all that drama to remind yourself of who you are because i don't understand but anyways that's who she is so there's nothing we can do so she was having this comment and praise was upset that 
why do you keep why please told her that you are proud and that's the truth because i'm having the same conversation i like you and you're already telling me how many men want me um i don't i, I don't like you i don't i'm i and i was just so upset nengi is just one corny person you're pretending like you have a relationship outside there, but you like somebody in the house but because the person is not giving you attention you are now making it look like you say you don't like this one. you know that i have somebody outside the house or giving us one excuse or the other anyway sha Pr- prince was upset yesterday he was just looking at her with this kind of he has already known the kind of person that nengi is let's leave nengi issues why other people were having fun truth or dead <laughs> kid wire and erica were having their moment so why all of this were happening kid wire and erica were in the city room having a discussion and erica made it known to kid that guy see you i know what kind of person you are i know that you're flirty i know that you flirt with other girls i can see it i'm not blind i'm not stupid but it's just very unfortunate that i like you yes she actually made it known to him that i like you but that doesn't mean she's stupid because she likes him she knows how flirty she is and as we were having their conversation they were close to cuddling and then he passed by and threw a blanket like mm, like take do your shit on that duvet and you know they kissed they kissed for like about five seconds under the blanket. After the kiss, then Erica now told Kidwire that see, let's what we just have in this house is just kissing and touching. That like there's nothing more. Cause if you actually like me, you will respect me. Any guy that wants to have anything to do with me will respect me and not flirt with other girls in my presence like right in front of me so if you want us to be a thing outside the big brother house and door yes it's fine but you have to change this whole attitude of yours after the kiss like what they have together is just just normal kissing and touching but there's nothing like um any form of it i feel that erica doesn't want to get heartbroken in the end because she already knows that kid is flirting with other girls in the house so let her just make it known like oh let her give herself the assurance that there's nothing between us so i'm i have no right to be jealous or i have no right to be too you know um, territorial over um kid so she just cleared him yesterday and then they said their good night you people this is the gist you have all been waiting for the katrina and praise team hmm. <laughs> see you guys um, anyways these are the, these are two people that nobody i mean no but not even me saw it coming i'm going to be sincere because they were not a thing they were not a couple and it, they always quarrel with each other like they always had one thing that they did like they, they've had like they've quarreled like two times in the house and you know Prince has even said he's never going to eat from katrina's food and all after that um fight over food and all so these two how they got entangled yesterday on the bed <laughs> is still funny to me because fine i know that they were under the influence of alcohol but you know i feel that there's also something maybe it's kanji i don't know because they, they weren't i know they weren't in their right senses and i don't know if they're going to wake up if they're going to feel regret or they're just going to feel satisfied but i feel that i, I don't know they had a theme yesterday night after the truth of their game we could see um katrina running to the inner room maybe she went to go and take some condoms i don't know then went to the bed first of all i was even like who are these ones by this time of the night I, my mind was ah if if there's anybody to do if there's anybody to even have anything like that in the house it should have been lilo and eric but you see they shocked us. This this game is shocking. It's giving us shocking contents because different things that you do not expect are happening. They are giving us reasons to stay glued to our screen because this thing that happened between Praise and Katrina yesterday, I don't know if it's going to continue or it's going to end, but let's just see how it goes. But you know what I'm talking. They had something under the duvet. They had an entanglement under the duvet, you know, <laughs> under the duvet. So, guys, All when right, I told you that, you know, Erica and Kid Wire had a conversation. When today. I see you flirting with other girls, other girls, other those other girls one of the other girls is clearly nengi because um i told you yesterday that nengi was all over kid Raya. and you know kid Raya asked nengi a question which made it clear and made my words right i said it that nengi likes kid Raya. kid Raya asked nengi which guy do you like in the house and nengi said you and i was like me Nengi was like, yes, you. I like you. I like you. And I was like, mm. <laughs> like, Kidwaya was like, who else in this house do you like? Like, and she was quiet. And Kidwaya felt very indifferent. And I, I know, yeah, we vibe together, but <laughs> you like me? And it's quite obvious that Nengi likes Kidwaya. 
because you can see the look in her eyes every time Erica and Kid were always there. Even yesterday when she passed by, she didn't want to see the whole kissing and everything. That's why she gave him a duvet. It is clear that and Nengi, Nengi said one thing: I would whoever I like, I go for it. Mm? Notwithstanding the fact that somebody's there, and you know this Eric uh, Nengi is saying I have a boyfriend, I have a boyfriend. It's a lie. That kiss, that should that kiss. I said it that if it was kid, why are they dead hard to kiss? All this, I don't just kiss anybody, and I wouldn't have been an issue because she would have kissed it because it is clear that Nengi likes kid wire, and we are still going to see more in the future. Just just watch and see. Mark my words, Nengi is going to do something with kid wire before next week or by next week. Just mark my words. So, aside that, let's even leave that aside. Lastly, on the highlights for today. Hmm, guys hey <laughs> so um tochi um went to meet kid wire and erica for advice that he has feelings for two girls in the house two housemates and it's tolani badge and wathoni now let me tell you guys kid, that kid wire is such a player he was like oh i think you should go for wathoni wathoni is easy she's very easy to you know enter a package <laughs> you know when you just was well, not giving him scope after the party tonight that's after tonight's party that saturday night's party just go and meet her you know you know she would just you know and erica is like me oh for me i prefer tolani badge for you like for tochi like she prefers tolani badge for her and kira like mm, tolani badge is too way too difficult but i think tochi likes tolani badge more ah this one I thought you should like in them. Is it sure they will re- reciprocate the feelings for him? This one I say is even now choosing like which do I go for? Let's just hope it works out well for him. That's all we can take today on the Big Brother Niger review. Um this evening I'm going to be dropping Saturday night party just so you don't want to miss the how. What you just have to do is turn on your post notification so that when I post any new video, you can get to see it first. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel. Let me see your comments in the comment section below and give this video it turns up my name is okay with me have a wonderful time ahead bye